we're asked to match each equation with the type of quadric surface. And I do have notes below that show the form of the equations for the quadric surfaces. We will also verify the results graphically. The first equation is x squared plus the square of y divided by 4 plus the square of z divided by 8 equals 1. So the things to notice here is all the variable terms are degree 2 or squared, all the variable terms are positive on the left, and on the right side we have a positive 1. So looking at the forms of the equations for the quadric surfaces, notice how this fits the form of an ellipsoid, where again all the variable terms are degree 2, they are all positive on the left, and we have a positive 1 on the right. So for the first equation, we enter C for ellipsoid. And let's go ahead and verify this graphically. I've already set this up using the 3D calc plotter. Turning on the first equation, we can see we do have an ellipsoid. Our second equation is z squared minus x squared minus the square of y divided by 4 equals 0. So once again, notice how all the variable terms are degree 2 on the left, where 1 is positive and 2 are negative, on the right side we have zero. So the key here is recognizing on the right side we have zero, which seems to match the form of the equation for an elliptical cone, but notice how for this equation, there are two positive variable terms and one negative variable term with a zero on the right. And we have two negative terms, one positive term, and a zero on the right. So to make it match the form, we can multiply both sides by negative one so that we have two positive variable terms and one negative variable term. Let's go ahead and show that work. Again, the given equation is z squared minus x squared minus the square of y divided by 4 equals 0. And now if we multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1, we have negative z squared plus x squared plus the square of y divided by 4 equals 0. And now it does match the form perfectly verifying we do have an elliptical cone, and therefore we select B. So again, we've already used C and B. Let's verify the second equation does give us an elliptical cone graphically. So we'll turn off the first equation, turn on the second equation, and we can see that we do have an elliptical cone. Our third equation is x squared plus the square of y divided by 4 minus the square of z divided by 8 equals 1. Notice on the left, all the variable terms are degree 2. We have two positive variable terms, one negative variable term. On the right side, we have positive 1. So again, analyzing our equations, notice how the equation for a hyperboloid of one sheet does have all three variable terms of degree 2. Two are positive, one is negative, and the right side is equal to positive 1. The third equation is a hyperboloid of one sheet, which is D. Going back to our graph, turning on the third equation, we can see we do have a hyperboloid of one sheet. Next we have negative x squared minus the square of y divided by 4 plus the square of z divided by 8 equals 1. All three variable terms are degree 2, 2 are negative, 1 is positive, and the right side is equal to 1. This matches the form of a hyperboloid of two sheets shown here. Again, all the variable terms are degree 2, 2 are negative, 1 is positive on the left, and the right side is equal to positive 1. The fourth equation is a hyperboloid of two sheets, which is A. And again, let's verify this graphically. Turning on the fourth equation, we can see we do have a hyperboloid of two sheets. And now looking at the fifth equation, we have z minus x squared minus the square of y divided by 4 equals 0. So the key here is that we have one degree one term, two degree two terms, on the right side we have zero. So looking at the equations for the paraboloids, notice for the elliptical paraboloid, the degree one term is positive on the left, on the right both degree two terms are positive. For the hyperbolic paraboloid, the degree one term is positive on the left, and on the right we have a positive degree two term and a negative degree two term. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for z, just to verify it does match the equation for the elliptical paraboloid. To do this, we add x squared to both sides and also add the square of y divided by 4, which gives us z equals x squared plus the square of y divided by 4, which again does match the equation for an elliptical paraboloid, which is E. And let's verify this graphically. Turning on the last equation, we can see we do have an elliptical paraboloid. 
I hope you found this helpful. And before we go, I do want to share some more detailed notes on the quadric surfaces that you may find helpful. And this is from the OpenStax Calc 3 textbook. We have the ellipsoid, the hyperboloid of one sheet, the hyperboloid of two sheets, the elliptic cone, the elliptic paraboloid, and finally the hyperbolic paraboloid. And again, you can find these notes in the textbook linked below. I hope you found this helpful.